Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome here to uh, Main Street, Columbia, downtown. It's uh, springtime and love is in the air. Actually, I take that back. That is the smell of the world's best chicken sandwiches <laughs> returning to Main Street. Thank you all for joining us today as uh, we celebrate the glorious return of Drake's Duck Inn to their home down on Main Street, Columbia in the Main Street District. My name is Ryan Coleman. I'm the Director of Economic Development and it's my pleasure to introduce our speaker lineup for today. First, we've got Mr. Matt Kennel, President and CEO of the Main Street District. He'll be followed by Ms. Aisha Driggers, Director for the Office of Business Opportunities, followed by the Honorable Mayor Daniel Rickenman, and Honorable Councilman Will Brennan, and then finally, our guest of honor today, Mr. Daniel Bone, and Mr. Matthew Bridges, co-owners of Drake Stuck In. And with that, I'll turn it over to you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Ryan. And again, welcome to the Main Street District, where the sun is always shining. So well, we appreciate that today. Um, it's so much fun to be here and celebrate with Matthew and Daniel the uh, grand reopening of Drake's Duck Inn. You know, it's not just the businesses that uh, come in from out of town or, or even new businesses in general which make Columbia such a great place. It's legacy businesses where we can really celebrate the history of our city and not look back at the past, but also look forward to a very bright future uh, that really make this uh, an exciting place uh, to live and work. So thank you all for coming tonight and, and coming today and celebrating with us uh, this great thing. And, and I did have some blood work done this week and my cholesterol is good, so I'm gonna be back for more uh, chicken sandwiches. I did have one a couple of days ago to get my fix and it, and it was wonderful. But we're just so excited to be here today. And thanks to Sarah, um, Simmons, I've got this uh, a wonderful duck, which uh, you, you hear more about ducks later, but uh, this is going to grace the dashboard of our yellow Jeep because it's a Jeep and the Main Street District Jeep has to have a duck. So this will now be our, our, our Main Street duck. So again, uh, welcome today and celebrate and thank all, everybody that helped them. Uh, we have many of our mayor, our council members, uh, Aisha and others, uh, and Ryan, that, that make this such a great place to do business. So again, thank you all for being here today. Aisha. Good morning, what a beautiful day to celebrate the reopening of Drake's. Our office assists um, small businesses, so we're excited that we were able to participate in this project. Our loan officer, Brett Whiting, who is here, was very instrumental in helping with some of the financial resources that are available to our small business in the city of Columbia. So we're excited to celebrate the reopening of Drake's and just the investment that they've made in our Main Street District. And we can pray for their continued success and growth, and we will continue to be a resource for them as they need us going forward. So thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's an exciting day, and on behalf of City Council, our city manager, uh, I want to thank you all for being here at this reopening because you really can't experience Columbia if you haven't been to Drake's Duck Inn. I mean, this is an institution and this is what's exciting. We were sitting around the other night talking about all the great restaurants that have come and gone. And then you look at Drake's Drug Inn that's sitting here reopening, reinvesting and being the part of the community and continuing to do that. And we're so excited that uh, Daniel and Matt decided to keep on going and they got a little upfit. They got a little help from Sarah Simmons with a little twist to the menu. I even understand that now we can have a cold beer in the afternoon with our chicken. Um, so I'm really excited about this being open but this may be the most anticipated opening on Main Street um, I've heard for weeks and weeks that when are they opening back up when are they opening back up so guess what today they're opening back up <laughs> couldn't agree uh, any more than the mayor's great words you know there's there's we we, we take celebrations for the investments, the new investments in Columbia, but there's something special about a reinvestment. Uh, that, that means a little bit more, it's a little bit sweeter. We'll take them all, any kind of investment, but it just, it confirms that we're on the right path here at the city of Columbia to have wonderful owners 
reinvest in a classic, iconic storefront. I tell you, if this storefront could write a history book, it'd be the best history book of, of the city of Columbia. Absolutely. This, this restaurant's been here forever, and, and we are so glad it's going to be preserved with a new twist, thanks to Aaron and Sarah. Uh, I, I want to take a, a, a quick second to thank the Office of um, Business Opportunities. OBO folks, raise your hand. Y'all do such a fantastic job making, making the, the, the trials and tribulations of opening a business here in the city of Columbia a lot easier, and we can't thank you enough. Greg, Greg, you're, you're, I, I heard from the, from the guys that you were a great resource to get this thing moving along, a couple hurdles that we got through. So thank you uh, for being the great business liaison for the city of Columbia. You know, that, Mayor, that's one position that's really working out for us. Uh, so I'm glad you came up with that idea, Mayor. Um, but just so excited for this, this reinvestment and, and Matt and um, Daniel. Can't wait for the next one. Appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning. Um, businesses like downtown business districts, like cities, cannot remain the same forever and expect to survive. Uh, they must grow, adapt, and evolve. Uh, Drake Stuck Inn has a unique place in the fabric of this city. Uh, it is special. Um, generations of Colombians have eaten here, and this restaurant has a bond with the community, community that is meaningful and important. Daniel and I respect that legacy. We recognize that we have the responsibility to honor our history and that we are temporary custodians of a brand that will hopefully be around for another 100 years. It was past time for an update in order to stay competitive in a growing and changing downtown and Main Street district. We're proud to share with you the next evolution of Drake Stuck Inn. We believe that we have improved every aspect of the guest experience and we're excited to have you come and try for yourself and for you to eat here over and over and over again. <laughs> We'd like to thank Edwina Tiny Harmon, uh, our general manager. She's been here and dedicated her whole career, if not life, to this space. Um, Drake Stuck In would not have a heart or a soul without Tiny. We'd also like to thank Chanel and the rest of the staff who have stayed with us and helped us reopen and transition twice now to our temporary location and now here to this new beautiful space. Um, we want to thank Sarah Simmons and Aaron Hoskins and their team who have helped us uh, execute this new vision for Drake's that we thought we needed to, to reflect the new beautiful space that we have. Uh, we'd like to thank Whitney Reitz Eller of Whitney Reitz Design. Uh, this beautiful new space was her design and of her mind, not ours. That is not our strong suit. Um, we think it's turned out better than we could have imagined. Um, we'd like to thank Mayor Rickman for all that he's done for small business. Uh, we'd like to thank the city, its leadership, and its departments, especially the Fire Marshal's Office and Greg Williams and our city business liaison. Uh, the city's been a real partner in this effort. Um, most importantly, we want to thank our families and the support that they've given. Um, thank you. And now Daniel's going to come up thank a few more people and say a few more words. <laughs> thank you. Um, we'd also like to thank uh, Martha Fowler. She's the first one to, I think people around Main Street know Martha very well. Uh, Martha was the first one to give us the confidence to really take this project on. And uh, we also would like to thank the late, great Tom Priyareshi who's done so much for Main Street and downtown. He sat down with us uh, early and really gave us a lot of good advice. We'd like to thank Matt Kennel and the City Center Partnership, John Shearer and Historic Columbia, uh, Robert Lewis, Janie Campbell, Chris Rogers and the Rogers Lewis team who helped us with the historic tax credits. Um, we'd like to thank Marcus and Rita uh, for Hotel Trundle. Uh, they've been great partners and we've really enjoyed having them as, as tenants here in this beautiful old building and they've done an excellent job upfitting the upstairs. 
We'd like to thank our commercial and our residential neighbors. Uh, I think we first took the facade off in 2017. So this has been a long process and I live on this block as well. And so I've heard all their uh, advice and uh, suggestions over along the way, but it's taken us a while, but we've gotten there and we thank them for their patience. Um, Matthew and I are two cousins from very small towns who decided to stay in Columbia after school and build lives and families here. So we would not call ourselves developers. We have day jobs, but we have an interest in food and an interest in seeing Columbia grow. We were fortunate enough to be presented with this opportunity to own a historic building and an existing business on Main Street, and we jumped in head first, not really knowing what we were doing or getting ourselves into. But almost nine years later, this block has two more places that locals will frequent and visitors will make destinations. And there are many empty lots and empty buildings all over downtown. Those are opportunities. Opportunities to grow this city in a way that gives us our own unique identity. We need more Columbia people creating Columbia places. We need more Drake's Duck Inns, more Hotel Trundles, more All Good Books. We need more places that you can only find here. Those type of places that make a city a more interesting place to live and visit. And that's what we want to be a part of. Thank you for being here today. Now, who wants a delicious cheeseburger? Yes. <laughs>